For years, an ambitious young man, Saul or Daniel, hustled with a taxi business in Western Kenya until he inadvertently spotted a business opportunity in fish farming while accompanying researchers conducting an exploratory study on fish farming. I could hear farmers complaining that yes, we have fish farming here, but where are the feeds? Where do we get the feeds? Where do we get the fingerlings? Where do we get extension services? Where do we get training? So uh, it kept on ringing in my mind that this is a business opportunity. Seoul immediately plunged into aquashop operation, becoming a pioneer aquashop operator in the region. When the government of Kenya started promotion of aquaculture through the economic stimulus program in 2009, it was with the noble goal of enhancing food security and expanding the pool of income generating opportunities for rural farmers. Many challenges, however, remained unmitigated throughout the aquaculture value chain, and this noble innovation remained stunted and able to grow and thrive. Godfrey Menor, the director of fisheries in Kenya, witnessed this scenario. Challenges have been enormous. Some are climatic, site selection, some ponds dried up. Yeah, when you put them up, they get water, but after some time, they're dried. Some are flooded, like in Bunyala. Then also the fish husbandry, the management. Yes, it's not there. So part of our challenge was the extension. Then the, the inputs, we had no inputs. Prior to three years ago, there was no fish feed production farm. Because why would, why would the farm produce fish feed when there's no feed for it, I mean, no market for it? So most of the things you'll either find farmers feeding on potato vines or uh, funny, funny things. To assist in addressing these challenges, Farm Africa formed a consortium of partners under the sponsorship of DFID Research into Use Program. The partnership brought in expertise in aquaculture development from the University of Stirling, Imani Development, Natural Resources International, and the Ministry of Fisheries Development. The program commenced with baseline studies that informed the design of responsive strategies to meet the needs of birding fish farmers strategies successfully tried and tested in aquaculture farming in other parts of the world. With the establishment of the first six aqua shops in Samia and Nyakach in western Kenya in 2010, the fish farming approaches and the fortunes of fish farmers have changed dramatically. Aqua shops are basically one-stop retail outlets where farmers can access all the information, all the retail, all the extension services that they need so that they can be able to undertake their fish farming as a business. The Farm Africa-led aquaculture support program facilitated the formation of farmer groups in form of production clusters. They trained aqua shops operators, empowering them with skills that enable them effectively bring into reality the aqua shops concept. We had to train the entrepreneurs whom went through a very rigorous selection process that was run by Farm Africa together with the Ministry of Fisheries. And most of them are people of diploma level, but um, their knowledge on aquaculture technical um, side was not very up to date. And so Farm Africa together with partners had to take these entrepreneurs through an intensive training where they were trained on how to manage business, manage their customers, and on key technical aspects to do with aquaculture. We did uh, the trainings on book, book records, uh, fish products, and uh, how to pond management, how to deal with the farmers, and how to approach a farmer or a new farmer and uh, we learned so many things in fish farming, also how to construct ponds. Farm Africa aquaculture experts trained farmers on fish pond design and construction, 
to ensure that the pawns were productive. Skills were imparted on general pond management techniques, including pond liming and pond fertilization. The farmers and caretakers also learned water regulation and temperature regulation, keeping predators at bay on top of skills in fish husbandry. The aqua shop operators were trained to serve as extension staff and have been especially useful serving as trainers of farmers. Indeed, training and refresher courses are constant in the project area as the number of fish farmers has been on the rise. In this successful private-public partnership, Ministry of Fishery staff have been incorporated as partners in farmer training as witnessed at Wahungu Government Fisheries Training Centre. In the clusters, the farmers' groups pool resources and are forming microfinance schemes for joint ventures. The aqua shops serve as liaisons between farmers and the local microfinance institutions and banks. In only their second year of operation, the farmers of Nangina Cluster are eyeing no less than the fish export market. Cluster Chair Faith Baluma explains. Their vision last year was to have good yields. This year, they have that vision of fencing. They want to, have to achieve that good collective market, whereby they can harvesting at one time and then they sell at a good market price, either outside Kenya. Yeah, they are looking for outside market. Yeah. The program prepared abridged educational materials distributed through the aqua shops that serve as reference materials for farmers once they join aquaculture. Aqua shops also serve as education and information centers for the clusters, posting pertinent information and notices. The farmers' groups provide a supportive environment to share experiences and best practices and plan for joint initiatives, including collective marketing. While bringing services and fish farming inputs to the farmers' doorsteps remain the most significant contribution of the aqua shops, they also serve as marketing outlets for farmers in their given clusters. With designated fish harvest days being publicized, other shops and even on local radio channels, the market for fish has been increasing and farmers can barely meet the demand. Nyakach is a relatively dry region where farmers depend on seasonal rains for their farming activities. With no streams and springs, it is the last place one would expect fish farming to be vibrant. The project introduced technology to tap rainwater for fish farming through surface dam construction. With the establishment of an aqua shop at Oboch Market, the once lethargic market is experiencing a rebirth with increased incomes as the farmers in this area have embraced fish farming. Trained aqua shop operators are equipped to offer services to birding fish farmers. The group has tried its hand at both tilapia and catfish farming. Aqua shop operator and team leader Rafael Owaka elaborates. Capacity building was introduced by fish, Ministry of Fisheries and Farm Africa in specific. They were relying on termites, they were trapping termites. Heavily they were fertilizing their ponds until training. We were now trained that we can get now suppliers who can balance the pellets, the floating pellets in specific, so that we give to fish for the protein gain and for quicker development of the fish. In this region, the catfish has proved to be an adaptable and resilient breed, proving the viability of fish farming in dry and semi-arid areas 
with the application of water conservation technologies. With aquashops playing a coordinating role, the farmers form a formidable group including women and youth and share best practices. We know on such a such a date, so many fish ponds will be harvested. We assume we'll harvest the number we stocked. So we shall put on notice that on such a such a date, we shall be having so much fish, catfish and tilapia. So information will be read. Then we also bring the radio, like Victoria and Ramogi. We tell them we shall be harvesting on such such a day. We send information to institutions like schools. Now we can't make that bucket demand. In the spirit of private-public partnership, the project has partnered with Gillet Enterprises, a tilapia seed production company. The program has seen to the expansion of their production capacity to ensure that fish farmers access quality fingerlings and in a timely manner. The establishment also serves as a training institution for aquaculture management. Through similar partnerships, the project has informed policy formulation and development and has developed sector standards to regulate operations, including fish feed production standards, which were previously non-existent. Fish farming is a fast-expanding and profitable vocation in the pilot districts, with fish pond rentals being a common practice. It has also turned out to be a major source of employment for the youth in the community. Pond side sales ensure a constant income, especially in times of emergencies. The incomes, food security and nutrition levels of majority small-scale households have improved tremendously. Realising the increasing opportunities in the aqua shop model, Seoul has been motivated to venture into fish farming. In one year, thanks to the profits made in aqua shop operation, Seoul is already the owner of a model five-acre fish farm established with productive tilapia and catfish ponds. For Seoul, there has been no looking back. Moreover, he is not alone. It is viable, it is sustainable, it is profitable. Because I have a pond of 600 meters squared. The first harvest we got around 165,000. I've tested that money, <laughs> money for fish farming. Because my expense was 13,000 and I got about 48,000. Mm -hmm. I've stocked and uh, I'm expecting over <laughs> 170,000 from that pond of mine. The part of Saint Yapo. Yeah. I'm going to go to the pond of Kangombe. I'm going to go to the pond of Kangombe. I'm going to go to the pond of Kangombe. I'm going to go to the Every Thursday you come to Funyula, there's a farmer which has booked, like the one at Funyula, the aquashop at Funyula, he's selling his, his fish every Thursday. And even the locals, they know that every Thursday, if you want farmed tilapia and you want to go and eat, go to Funyula aquashop, you'll buy. Very fresh, they're still shaking their heads, they're kicking. We are getting some processing units where the farmed produce can be bought. We are linking the markets. We are promoting the marketing so that the issue of market doesn't arise. And slowly we are looking into certification of farmed fish products for export. The effectiveness of the AquaShop model in overcoming the challenges faced by small-scale fish farmers in Kenya and the great promise it holds in making their livelihoods sustainable is not in doubt. A harvest tell it all. The beauty of this project is that um, it's changing livelihoods not only at the farmer level, it's also changing livelihoods at the entrepreneur, at the business community level. At the farmer level, we have seen farmers' productivity going up three times. 
At the business level, we have seen people growing their business from zero. Our aqua shop service providers, they're making money out of the services that they're giving to the farmer. Farm Africa is convinced that the aqua shop's approach is a viable strategy as a poverty reduction model worthy of emulation and scale up in other community empowerment programs. What we're really always reaching for as Farm Africa is sustainable models that will be in place once we leave. Um, what we're seeing here with the aqua shops is little businesses that are able to support themselves at the same time as making both services and products available to the fish farmers to enable them to grow their own uh, businesses, to, to, to grow fish and again to lift themselves out of poverty by doing so. I think everybody needs to work together here, so there are issues around the, the standards of fish feed for example, um, for the individual farmers, it's a question of um, really investing themselves, I think there is a need for credit so that farmers can access uh, finance to be able to, 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 to grow their businesses, so it's really a question of I think the private sector, government and the communities working together of course with specific expertise from NGOs like Farm Africa. Thank you.